wake. To wake is to end a period of sleep. When this word is used as a verb, it's almost always followed by the preposition up. What time do you wake up in the morning? Don't wake him up. The baby is starting to wake up. Try not to wake her. He wakes up at 6.15 every morning. When the word wake is a noun, it has a few meanings that are different from the verb. 1. Wake. An area of disturbance created by a boat. The swimmers got caught up in the wake from a large boat that passed by. Waves created by the boat's wake lapped up against the shoreline. The power boat is creating a very visible wake. 2. Wake. A period of time or the creation of a situation by a person with power or influence. The president of the company left a lot of people high and dry in his wake. In the army's wake, hundreds of civilians were dead or wounded. 3. Wake A vigil or a visit for someone who has died. The word visitation is also commonly used for this circumstance. Bill had to attend a wake for his uncle who died a few days ago. The wake lasted from 6 to 9 p.m. Many people were at the wake. On the day after the wake, there was a church service and a funeral. Wag To wag is to move part of the body side to side. Dogs do it when they are happy. Human beings do it when they are unhappy. The most common use for this word is when describing the movement of a dog's tail. My dog wagged her tail when she saw me arrive. Dogs wag their tails when they are happy or excited. Look, he's wagging his tail. Cows and horses use their tails to swat flies, but they don't wag their tails when they see their owners. A cat never wags its tail. You can also use the word wag when a person shakes his or her finger at another person to express unhappiness with bad behavior. The teacher wagged her finger at the student who was half an hour late to school. Sheila wagged her finger at her four-year-old for making too much noise in the store. A driver wagged his finger at another driver for cutting him off in traffic. Don't wag your finger at me. I did nothing wrong. Wage. There are two different meanings and uses for the word wage. In the first set of examples, wage is a noun that refers to money paid to a person for doing a job. She makes a high hourly wage at her job. 
What's your hourly wage? His wages over the course of a year amount to $40,000. Their combined monthly wages come to $3,500. The minimum wage is the lowest amount of money that can be paid to an employee by law. In our state, the minimum wage is $7.25 per hour. When the word wage is used as a verb, it means to act in a combative manner or to struggle against something. He's waging a losing battle against his gambling addiction. People who wage war on each other eventually realize it's not a good solution to the problems that exist among people. The Syrians are waging war on each other. Wagon A wagon is a vehicle that is used for carrying things. Some wagons have motors, others do not. Children like to ride in toy wagons. Pioneers who traveled from the east to the western parts of the United States in the 1800s used covered wagons to haul their belongings. A station wagon is a type of car that has a lot of room for carrying everything needed for a long vacation. A Volkswagen is a popular German car. A paddy wagon is used by the police for carrying people to jail. Weight The word weight is used for the passing of time. The examples below show how it's used as a verb. The simple form is wait. The past tense is waited. The past participle is waited. She's waiting. She's waiting for a train to arrive. She's going to have to wait. Just wait. You'll have to wait. We're waiting for a response. John waited at the bus stop for the bus to arrive. How long did you wait? The person helping us made us wait. I really don't want to have to wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. This word can also be used as a noun. We had a long wait. The wait was over two hours long. Pedro had a short wait. The wait was just five minutes. How long was the wait? What's the wait? The word waiting is often used as an adjective. When you go to a doctor's office, Sometimes you remain in a waiting room until the doctor is ready to see you. Waiting areas are provided for people who are waiting for a plane to depart. If you go to a busy restaurant, your name might go onto a waiting list 
as you wait for an available table. Wall A wall is a structure built for protection of an area, or it provides privacy and organization within a building. A load-bearing wall helps provide support within a house. An exterior wall is insulated to protect people from cold weather. If an interior wall is too thin, you can hear through it. Many people like to put pictures on their walls so that they won't be so bare. A bare wall has nothing on it. Walls in the United States are made of wallboard or plaster. The average height of a wall inside a house is 8 feet. Prisons build strong walls in order to prevent prisoners from escaping. Donald Trump says he's going to build a wall along the border of the United States and Mexico, and Mexico is going to pay for it. There are many famous walls. The Great Wall of China was built to protect ancient Chinese empires, starting in the 7th century BC. The wall is so long that it can be seen from space. The Wall of Jericho was built in 8000 BC in present-day Jordan and Lebanon. It's believed to have provided flood protection. The Western Wall in Jerusalem is a holy site for Jewish people who go there to pray. The Berlin Wall was built between East and West Berlin during the Cold War, but the people of the city tore down the wall in 1989. People who work on Wall Street in New York make money by trading stocks and bonds. The Wall is a rock album put out by the band Pink Floyd in 1979. Mending Wall is a poem written by Robert Frost. Wander To wander is to walk around or do something without any direction or purpose. The simple form of this verb is wander. The past tense is wandered. The past participle is wandered. The high school kids had nothing to do, so they just wandered around the shopping mall all day. Todd wandered into the forest and got lost. A three-year-old boy was found wandering around in the street by himself. The people in the car wandered into a construction zone. They were told to leave. The police found a strange man wandering around in our neighborhood, so they asked him some questions. Don't let your kids wander away. Keep your eyes on them. Wardrobe A wardrobe is a collection of clothing. It could be the clothes that are worn every day, but it could also be the clothes that a person wears for work. 
Sandra has a very large wardrobe for work. Tim spends a lot of time on his wardrobe. Now that Vanessa is going to work downtown, she needs a new wardrobe. What kind of wardrobe do you need for work? My wife says I need to work on my wardrobe. The wardrobe department for a television or movie studio provides clothing for performers. Warm. The word warm is used for temperatures generally between 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the feeling of being warm can vary depending on the person. In the northern United States, it's warm in the late spring, the summer, and the early fall. On a warm summer evening, it's enjoyable to go for a walk. Most people prefer warm weather to hot weather or cold weather. Does it feel warm in here or is it just me? You can use the word warm for people or things. Her forehead feels warm. I think she has a temperature. We like to eat bread when it's warm. A warm house is a good thing to come home to on a cold winter's day. People keep warm by wearing a lot of heavy clothes in the winter. Mary has a warm personality. She gave her friend a warm smile. It's also possible to use warm as a verb. You can warm food in a microwave. You can warm your hands near a fire. People of Brazil are warming up to the prospect of hosting the Summer Olympic Games. It's a good idea to warm up before you do a lot of exercise, play sports, or perform music. Warn. To warn is to tell someone of danger or consequences for some sort of action. The teacher warned the student that he would get a detention if he continued misbehaving. The police officer warned the motorist that she could get a ticket for a broken taillight. Don't do that. I'm warning you. We were warned not to enter the building because it was unsafe. A meteorologist on television warned us of an impending snowstorm, but it never came. The car I drive warns me when I get too close to another car. A heart monitor warns of problems with a person's heart. The word warning is a noun. The police officer let the motorist off with a warning. Martha gave her son a warning when he came home late. 
The teacher gave the student a warning. This is your final warning. The National Weather Service issued a warning for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes in our area. Warning lights and a guardrail indicate when a train is crossing the road. A warning light on the dashboard of your car can tell you if you are low on gas or oil. Waste The word waste is similar to the word garbage when it's used as a noun. There's some waste in the trash can. Human waste should never get into the water supply. Don't let that food go to waste. If something is not used completely, wisely, or properly, we say that it's a waste. All of our effort has been a complete waste. His life is a waste. Never let your education go to waste. Your mind will go to waste if it's not used. What a waste! In these sentences, wasted is an adjective. Prisons are full of people with wasted lives. There's a lot of wasted food in the dumpster behind the grocery store. He's so wasted. In these sentences, waste is a verb. Angela wasted two years with Tony before she finally decided to end their relationship. The money we spent on this furniture was wasted. It's already falling apart. Rick wasted his money on casinos and fancy cars. Now he has nothing. Don't waste natural resources such as water and land. They're too valuable. Watch. When the word watch is used as a verb, it means that a person is actively looking at something and paying attention while looking. It's a little different from the verbs look or see. I saw a movie at the movie theater. I watched a movie on TV. I looked at the TV. Generally, we use the verb see for films and movies, and we use watch for entertainment on a television or large screen TV. Here are some more examples of how the word watch is used as a verb. Who watches your kids while you are away from home? Investors watch changes that occur in the stock market. Consumers watch for prices to drop in the form of a sale. One way to learn how to play baseball is to watch people play it. The police are watching the man who lives in the house down the street. What do you like to watch on TV? You have to watch out for other people. 
the Super Bowl is the most watched television program of the year. The pirates watched as their ship sank. The word watch can be used as an interjection. Hey, watch out. Watch it. Watch. When the word watch is used as a noun, it can refer to a device used for telling time. He's wearing a watch. Maria looked at her watch to see what time it was. A Rolex is a nice watch. Do you wear a watch? As a noun, the word watch is also used when there's a concerted effort to pay attention to something. A tornado watch was announced on television a few minutes ago. A neighborhood watch group was formed by neighbors concerned about crime. People whose names are on a terrorist watch list are prevented from boarding airplanes. Water. Water is a liquid that sustains life on Earth. It forms when hydrogen and oxygen combine. We can't live without water. You can use this word as a noun, a verb, and as an adjective. Trees and plants need water to survive. It's a good idea to live close to a fresh supply of water, such as a lake or a river. Too much water from rain results in a flood. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit and 100 degrees Celsius. In this next set of sentences, the word water is a verb. She's watering her garden. You need to water your plants. They watered their lawn. The restaurant is watering down its drinks. My mouth waters whenever I think about eating Indian food. Yum! My eyes are watering because of all the smoke in here. The words water or watery can be used as adjectives. Let's bring some water bottles when we go camping. The children are having a water fight. This spaghetti sauce is watery. This coffee tastes watery. There are some common expressions that include the word water. We need to test the waters before going any further with our plan. You are in deep water now. This is all water under the bridge. Wave You can use the word wave as a noun or as a verb. Wave.
when a large movement of water pushes towards the shoreline, it gets larger as it approaches land. Here comes a big wave. Many people are attracted to the sound of waves crashing against the shore. It's very difficult to swim against the waves. Wave Something or someone creates momentum that results in large, dense movements of people or things. The candidate is enjoying a sudden wave of popular support. A wave of customers entered the store in the late afternoon. Waves of baseball fans arrived at Wrigley Field on the L. The wind sends waves through a field of grain. Wave. A person uses one's hand to signal a greeting or attract attention. The simple form for the verb is wave. The past tense is waved. And the past participle is waved. They waved at us. They gave us a wave. We waved back at them. We gave them a wave. Way. The word way has many different meanings. The first set of examples shows how to use way to mean method or means for accomplishing something. My mother showed me a good way to make chocolate chip cookies. That school uses interesting new ways for teaching and learning. How many different ways can this problem be solved? Stealing is a bad way of making a living. Where there's a will, there's a way. In these sentences, the word way is used to talk about a route for traveling or talk about distance. It's a long way back to our house from here. Which way is the Colosseum? This is the fastest way to get to Los Angeles. There's no other way around all this traffic. The parking lot is this way. We often use way to describe possibility. There's no way they could be finished with their work already. It's not possible. Is there any way they will get back together? No way. I'm not working on Saturday. Sometimes the word way is used as an adverb. In this case, it's similar to the words really and very. This furniture is way overpriced. She's way too tired to get off the couch. We can't keep him as a worker. He's way too lazy. It's way too hot outside. The lecture was way interesting. There are a few idioms that make use of the word way. Let me get this out of your way. We don't want you to go out of your way to help us with this. Out of the way. 
Could you move, please? You are in the way. Sarah's parents don't want to get in the way of her plans to become a doctor. Peter went all the way up the organization and became the CEO. Weak. A person or a thing that does not have strength or power is weak. This word is the opposite of the word strong. We often use weak to describe people. She became weak after a long illness. A weak old man was brought to the hospital. Babies are weak and powerless soon after they are born. Will was tired of looking skinny and weak so he began to lift weights. Three days of the flu left me feeling weak. The word weak also describes animals and things. A weak storm moved through our area. A weak foundation caused the house to collapse. The dog's legs were so weak it couldn't stand. Her excuse for being late was kind of weak. Sales figures for this last quarter have been weak. To make this word into a verb, add an EN ending. She was weakened by her illness. Smoking weakens your immune system. Hurricanes weaken once they hit land. Avoiding exercise will weaken your muscles. Add ling to the end of weak to form the noun weakling. Randy is too much of a weakling to be a threat to anyone. Weasel A weasel is a small mammal with a long, thin body. It steals and eats the eggs and babies of other animals, so it has a reputation for being a thief. Sometimes the word weasel is used when describing people. That guy is a lying, cheating weasel. The weasel who sold us our car lied about the engine. Sarah quit her job because her boss was a weasel who cheated customers. Not all lawyers are weasels. Many of them are respectable. You can also use weasel as a verb. In this case, it means to avoid a penalty or an obligation. Vanessa tried to weasel out of getting a parking ticket. Nick always weasels out of doing his homework. You can't weasel out of this. Weep. To weep is to cry. The simple form of this verb is weep. The past tense is wept. The past participle is wept. The man began to softly weep when he realized his cat had run away. The children wept as they watched the end of a very sad movie. Why is she weeping? What's the matter?
There was a lot of weeping during the memorial services for the young man who died suddenly. It's hard to ignore the sound of someone weeping. The word weeping is also used to describe a type of tree, the weeping willow. Weeping willows thrive in wet soil conditions. You will find many weeping willow trees along the banks of rivers and lakes in the Midwestern parts of the United States. Welcome. To welcome is to happily receive a thing or a person. This word is used for information that makes us happy, objects that make our lives easier, and people who visit or move to a place. The word welcome can be used as a verb. The simple form is welcome. The past tense is welcomed. And the past participle is welcomed. We welcome you. The teacher welcomes students as they enter the classroom. A hotel clerk welcomes guests when they check in. Store employees welcome customers as they arrive. Residents of the drought-stricken area welcomed the forecast of heavy rain. The guests were welcomed by the hosts. The United States welcomes millions of people who visit or arrive as immigrants. The Statue of Liberty welcomes visitors and new residents when they pass through New York City. This word can also be used as an adjective. The wedding announcement was welcome news. You are welcome to browse through the store. The travelers are welcome to stay the night instead of driving through the storm. The baby is a welcome addition to the family. A welcome mat greets people as they arrive at a person's home. A welcoming committee sent a basket of fruit and some flowers to the people who moved into the neighborhood. When someone says, thank you, a polite response is, you're welcome. Thanks for helping me. You're welcome. Well. The word well is used in many different ways. As an adjective, the word well means healthy or good. It's often used with linking verbs such as feel and B. Charles feels well today. Cindy doesn't feel well. All is well. I'm well. As an adverb, well can mean very, 
or good. The tomato plants are doing well. She plays the piano well. You speak English very well. The time we spent on learning this was well worth it. The project was not done well. The customer ordered his steak well done. Notice that the adverb form for this word can change to an adjective with the addition of a past participle and a hyphen connecting the two words. As an employee, she's paid well. She's a well-paid employee. The children behave well. They are well-behaved children. He is a well-known person in this community. Everyone knows him. Regarding the hyphen, generally you use it when well is part of a compound adjective, but you don't need it when it is an adverb modifying an adjective. He is a well-known author. He is well-known. Well-prepared students get good grades. They were well-prepared. This is a well-made car. It's very well-made. Some combinations of words almost always include the hyphen. They're well off. This is for your well-being. He's very well-to-do. The word well often introduces a question or sentence in everyday conversation. It's not necessary to say well, of course. It just leads into a statement or a question. Well, I have to be going now. Well, that didn't take very long. Well, why didn't they finish their assignments? Well, what do we have here? One more completely different use for the word well is as a noun. When a well is a thing, it's usually a place to gather liquid underground or from a container. You can get water from a well. An oil well produces petroleum. An ink well is used when writing with a quill.